Do you have a nice shirt with cuff sleeves, but the sleeves are too long? With a few basic tools, your shirt and your sewing machine, you can shorten them yourself. Let's get started. First, decide how much you wanna shorten your sleeve and write this number down. Please note that if you wanna shorten your sleeve by more than the length of the open placket, it might make it really hard to roll up your sleeves later. Use your seam ripper to cut the stitches and remove the cuff. You'll notice on some cuffs there will be two rows of stitches on the right side. You usually just have to do the stitch closest to the seam line and can leave the other row of stitches alone. Remove any loose threads from the cuff and your sleeve. From the previous stitch holes, measure up your desired amount that you wanna shorten your sleeve by and mark it with a fabric marker or chalk. If you have a previous pleat in your sleeve, refold it and pin it into place. At your sewing machine, sew a basting stitch at your new mark by sewing the longest stitch your machine can do and don't do any back stitching. Trim off the excess sleeve length, but cut about a quarter inch past your basting stitch so you can leave some fabric for seam allowance. I'm also matching the top of the cuff with my basting stitch. Take the cuff and repin it onto the new bottom of your sleeve, making sure that the button side of the cuff is on the same side as the button on the placket. Also, the extra double stitch on the cuff will be on the right side of the sleeve. Sometimes the bottom of the sleeve is longer than the amount that'll fit inside the cuff. If you run into this issue, slightly pull your basting stitches, evenly distributing the gathering prior to pinning in order to ease the sleeve fabric into the cuff. It's similar to putting a sleeve into an armhole. Once everything is pinned, take it back to your sewing machine and top stitch along the top of the cuff using a regular length straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch. And now your sleeve is shorter, but it looks just as good as before. Repeat the process on the other sleeve to make them even. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out professorpincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.